Welcome back to Bedrock. The Horde base may have held last night, but not without some glaring problems. The ramp was left in tatters, the causeway confused the zombies, and some of them even began to dig topside. And all of these will need to be addressed over the coming week, but not today. Today we'll focus on questing for Jen, and tonight we'll focus on getting the crafting room sorted out, and tomorrow we'll make another special trip into the wasteland to see what we can uncover out there. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze, so let's begin. All right, we're off to a little bit of a late start today, so we gotta get to work here very, very quickly. Now, um, tonight, I don't think we're gonna work on this tonight. This all needs to be renovated though, so uh, what I've heard is that other people are also having trouble using half blocks to go up to a fighting position. The zombies are not pathing on them very well, so we'll have to find something different there. However, the focus for tonight, I think, the, uh, the nighttime project will be to finally get this room into its final configuration and um, start setting up like permanent storage, get all the workstations moved over to where they will, you know, their final resting place. And then probably think about getting ready to also move the garden and the dew collectors down here. And all that's really gonna consist of is making sure that we have a light source penetrating all the way to the surface, which shouldn't be a problem because zombies won't actually jump down a uh, like a long light shaft unless they uh, have like a, a ladder or some sort of like a falling mechanism like what we set up at the top over here if they don't have that they'll actually just try to dig instead oh right and i uh i finally put in the cane lock slot mod so we can finally lock some inventory slots thank goodness it's like the one thing that just i don't know why they don't add it to the game it's in the game they just haven't activated it, it drives me nuts uh could consider also bringing lock picks with me man see now that I have the lock slots, I'm going to be tempted to bring more and more items. But we'll need nails for tonight, so give me like, I don't know, a hundred nails or so. And let's get the heck out of here. Alright, first stop this morning is check on the dew collectors, and then we're off to see Trader Jen. Good morning, Trader Jen! Wake up! Fetch a clear if to the north at the $3 store. Uh, let's see what else she has. Post office up. and poopy pants daycare. <laughs> <laughs> the Duke is I'll go here. with this one here, the $3 uh, store. Hurry. Straight to the north. All right, I'll meet you over there. Okay, this is the spot. I'm going to park out front because I get a sense that it's going to spit me out in the front, but the quest marker is actually around back. I did bring the lockpicks with me so I can try and crack into this. Oh, Jesus, there's a freaking horde running on by. Okay, very quickly now, open this thing up. Okay, we're in. Oh, a thousand bucks. Nice. All right, ladies and gents. Okay, not a very big horde. Kind of a very mild horde here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he heard me. Well, I spoke too soon. There's a whole bunch of zombies coming around the side here now. Ooh, I did get a level up this morning already. Nice. Ooh, Pine Balls Bowling. Ooh, that'd be a fun one to check out. Tier 4. Can I? Ooh, there's loot in there already. Oh, there's a munitions box right there, too. Hm. Nice, juicy loot. Well, I don't think these are part of the quest, but I'll search them on my way through here. Forge ahead. Very nice. Tools Digest. Electrical traps, that's the one we really need right there. Fireman's Almanac, that's heat resistance, and machine gunner for automatic weapons do 10% more damage. Excellent. I feel like those newspaper stands are still like super high quality, but I have heard that like the residential mailboxes have been nerfed a little bit. As if, you know, residential areas needed any nerfing. They're already quite terrible compared to like downtown areas and industrial areas, but now there's pretty much no reason to go to them at all. All right, let's hit it. Okay, got a bird already. Otherwise, nothing. Dead quiet. No pun intended. Oh crap, we got a storm rolling in. Goodness. Those are kind of rare these days. Oh my goodness, hello there. Freaking cop. What are you doing there anyway? This must be yeah, a portion of the floor that just falls through. Oh jeez. Okay, he's just gonna blow up down there. That's kind of fine with me. Maybe I can get the kill? Nope. Look out. Oh. Little bits and pieces came flying up. Aha. Here's our zombies. Feral here, and away with you. Oh, okay, the light is shining there. That's where they want you to go, is into the ventilation duct? Right, I did have that skill point. I wanted to take a look at it, because I think I was saying last that we were going to go into run and gun a little bit. Yes, uh, we can take another point into that later on. Okay, hiding spots for zombies. No zombies within them, though. Hmm, what is this? Never seen one of those before. Well, in we go. Okay, I see. And this must be the way that we're going then. Yes. 
Oh, wow, there's the main loot right there already. Okay, if I was a zombie, where would I have died and hid myself? Seems like we're good, unless this is some sort of a zone where doors open as soon as you drop down, then I think we're good. Oh, nope, there's uh, somebody right there. And a crawler. Where did you crawl in here from? All right, does that mean we're all clear here? It looks good. Wonder what would happen if I just clawed my way through that. How many hit points is that anyway? Like how, how tempting? 30,000, okay. I guess that's never gonna happen. I am collecting papers. I'm gonna take my time in here for a minute and just get all these boxes. All right, that's everything for this room, all clear. Where to now? Locked, locked, I think, if I had to guess, what are we heading downstairs here? Ah, whoa, jeez, man, Killer Joe sneaking up on me. How's the inventory looking? Pretty rough so far. Red boots, man. I, oh my god, whoa, ho, 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 buddy. That was close. Get out of here with that stuff. Oh, more coming. Who's out here? One more upstairs, perhaps? I can hear him. What about this bathroom? Anybody hiding in here? Just rip this open a little bit. No, nope. ooh, a little bit of loot in here, though. Never say no to that, except it's sledgehammer parts. Not gonna come in handy. Someone was asking me on Twitter what I think should be done about magazines since, um, like, once you've got, you know, a quality five or six top tier weapon or, or you know, firearm or whatever the case may be, tool. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, you know, the magazines are useless to me now. They have no function whatsoever. It's just a waste. And I'm gonna be getting a lot of them because I'm specced into sledgehammers, so it's gonna kind of take away from my advancement in other areas. And um, I had to think about that for a minute because, um, you know, I like the magazine system, of course, and I think that they've done a good job with it. It's better than I expected it to be, but that doesn't mean there's not room for improvement. So the response I gave after thinking about it for a little bit is that perhaps what should happen is that if you max out a magazine set, let's say, you know, it's 100 or whatever it is for sledgehammers, maybe 75, maybe at that point, um, you get some sort of a special bonus. Just like when you um, max out a book series, right? You get that like the completion perk bonus thing. So maybe for sledgehammers, when you complete it, you get a, I don't know, 5% less stamina per swing or a slight 5% damage bonus or, you know, something just to reward you for continuing to collect those magazines. Oh boy, Ray Capitillo charging around the corner. A lot of ferals these days. All right, uh, this has the makings of a big-ish fight, perhaps. Another one there, Mason. And who's this? Just a regular over here. Get back. Oh, uh, oh, wow, oh, geez, Spiker. What is it with you guys hiding in the ceiling? And one, one guy outside too, just a regular, so he can just live out there, no problem. Wow, look at this stuff. Okay, let's just go ahead and start taking and collecting the learning elixir there. This is working over here too. Maybe we can collect some candy, sugar butts, and uh, maybe a couple health bars. Hacker's candy, yeah, salvage harvest. That could come in handy. You wanna do a big car harvesting day? Well, there is a whole bunch of stuff to pick through in here, isn't there? Cop, 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 go oh, look out. None of that, no. Get back, so many cops in here, man. The high security for a dollar store. Oh boy, ooh, runner. Get back. See, there it is, Get Hammered Magazine, 39 out of 75. I have so far to go before we're not gonna be seeing those in loot anymore. Okay, what I really need to do is go outside. Can I break through this? This is not too bad. I'm gonna break through here so I can at least stash my bike. All right, get rid of all that stuff, and I forgot to check this on my way through. So grab that, not too bad. All right, back inside. The amount of just random clutter in this place is staggering, and I'm only about two thirds of the way through. Well, at least there's the satchel. Another trip to the bike to stash the inventory. Not a lot of room left either. Oh, right, we can unlock this again. A thousand bucks last time and 600 this time. All right, electrical trap magazine, and I think that does it. This is not gonna be open. Nope, we have to go up and over this, I think. Yep, look, there's still more to get in here too. There's potted plants and there's electronics I could be salvaging. I can't be here all day though. Time is money and honestly, electrical parts only get you so much money, so. All right, what's this? It's a trap, isn't it? Wait, oh, oh, here we go. Blah, miss. No matter, my agility saves me every time. All right, why do I get suspicious feelings? Okay, so this roof is made out of concrete, but the one in the bathroom in the crack of cafe was like hiding a hidden stash. I don't understand these things. Vehicle adventures though, 22 on that and up to 24 on cooking. Okay, oh, this just took us uh, kind of full circle. Oh, wait, 
where are we going now? Oh, I remember this spot, okay. Ah, right, so this one might have acid. If I just, nope, oh, okay, it didn't work. I do have the book though, so if I do that, I think I have, I think it's a 50 or 25% chance perhaps to get acid out of it. Unfortunately, you lose all the loot that's inside though. That's just, that's just how it works. Okay, otherwise, looking good in here, grab up the paper where I can. All right, let's move right along here. I'd like to get back before nightfall. We'll get our reward and then we'll do a big mining project tonight and get the crafting room organized. Okay, here we go. That was, that was the big one. And I can see zombies moving on the compass. It's a spider. Ooh, wow, he's got jumps, doesn't he? Ah. Okay, also, we've got ferals. That's a feral crawler, in fact. All right, we've got a good bottleneck for him right here. Oh no, that didn't last long. Carrie Haley broke through. Get, oh, it's all ferals. Ah. Oh jeez. One more, I think. There we go, yep. Area is clear, supplies are secured. Let's just get the main loot and get out of here. More vehicle journals. We're doing pretty good on those these days. Another farming journal, doing well on those as well. 18 out of 20, in fact. A more electrical trap magazines and a shotgun magazine. I have noticed that we are into the age where we can make a pump shotgun. I just don't know that I want to do it just yet. Another shotgun book. What about the main chest here? Ooh, nothing really exciting at all. And I'll eat the cornmeal for that chain mod. All right, I'll meet you back at Jen's then. But real quick before I do, isn't this the one that we opened up? It is. Yes, we opened this one up the last time we came through here and then promptly ran away to get rid of the zombies. Hey, there we go, a nice pistol. That'll replace the level ones that I have. All right, over to Jen's then. Let's see what kind of a quest reward Jenny has for us. I've heard that there's some kind of a bug with the quest rewards. I haven't seen it myself yet. I think it's that the higher tiered quests don't give good rewards anymore. Amazing. Let's take a look here. I hope you yeah, like your okay, nothing special. Sniper book here. Leg shots have a chance to dismember. Crafting magazine bundle or the steel. I'll go with the crafting skill magazine bundle. That's six magazines. Not too bad. And uh, check your inventory. Have I already gone through this? I think I have. It's hard to tell sometimes though because, you know, it, as you level up, you'll unlock better and better gear. So you kind of have to check every time you're here. Yeah, nothing terribly exciting there. Nothing terribly exciting here either. Rockbuster and um, some learning elixir. Just kind of stock up on those. All right, let's go home. Grab up the stuff from the Dew Collectors, grab up as much loot as I can and start shuttling it down to the loot storages. All right, everything seems to be organized now. Got the crafting skill magazine bundle for tools, sledges, and scrapping for fun. Which means I can do the ratchet quality three now. How can I do on the, um, you know, things like a steel pickaxe, steel axe, okay, up to level three. Tempting because that means two mods, and if I rolled a good one, I think I could probably be one-shotting the ore. But um, I was looking at this last night, and look, we need another 22% block damage in order to one-shot with the regular attack, and I don't think that just one level is going to do that, so I might just wait until we can do the level fours. Okay, so an extra level from two to three, that's going to be an extra 10% block damage, plus the Bunker Buster mod, which is an extra 25% damage. Okay, uh, might be worth trying. How are we looking on steel then? 28. Ooh, too shy to, to do that. I'm gonna go do a street light real quick. Oh, scratch that. Joe's USA has a vending machine. I can take apart two of them, in fact. Hey, let's see here. Steel tool parts, got plenty of those. All right then, cancel this stuff for a second and craft me that steel pickaxe level three. And we'll just keep our fingers crossed that with mods, we'll be able to one-shot blocks. I also can craft lock picks now, which is nice. We'll get, um, I wanna get like a full stack of those, so 40. All right, there it is. Okay, oh God, is it gonna work? No, why doesn't that work? Oh my goodness, down to 21 hit points. Crap, we need the tier four after all. Shoot, well, oh geez, I really wanted the one shot so I could do this big project tonight, but that will have to do it. All right, let's get to work here. We gotta widen this out four blocks in this direction and two blocks in that one, two blocks in that one, and two blocks above. Plus, if there's time left over, I'm gonna do the basement as well. Black Trap Coffee in, and also I noticed last night that I've also read all of the books in the mining series. I don't remember getting like the the dingy sound thingy, but anyway, that's 20% more or when mining. I guess they've done away with the one shot perk. So whatever, let's do this.
Okay, good news. We've done most of the work down here. Also found a little bit of iron, which is interesting. I don't think that it's wise to do any significant mining here. We'll do our dedicated mining elsewhere, but I wish that the iron node was like centrally located here so I would have had no choice but to dig a whole bunch of it up. Uh, a zombie did teleport down here last night, which was interesting. Had a couple of screamers fall down. Otherwise, I think we're just about ready to go to just um, build up the perimeter wall. Just gonna do a nice big square room here and we'll do some like fancy stuff to kind of dress it up, make it look a little bit nicer. But for now, it's just gonna be a nice big flat wall down here. Okay, not too shabby down here now. So I just need to wait for the forge to pump out the rest of its resources and I think I can probably move everything else into their final configuration. All right, there it is. Finally getting organized with some real storages. These are new blocks here, which I kind of like. It's like a plate bracket or something like that. So this will have to wait another half day or so, and then we can move that over tonight once it's all emptied out. For today, though, let's... Um, I was thinking let's go to the Wasteland today because it's Wednesday for me, and that way we can call it Wasteland Wednesday. <laughs> so, and uh, you never know. We might... I was looking at the map this morning, and... Um, it looks like we almost got into what might be a town there, so I was thinking we could just head up there and see what's there. Maybe there's a trader there, maybe there's a POI that we can clear out, uh, preferentially a tool POI, and also we need to try to get some steel, because I'm not doing any more mining until I have the level 4 pickaxe. I'm not even going to repair the one that I have. I need to be able to one-shot the ore. It just is... It, it, there's no way around it, man. Look how much damage they did up here, and then there's this big divot over here. Oh, geez, it's scary. Kind of terrifying. I think the reason they did this, though, is when the half blocks leading, like the causeway leading up to the fighting position, when that broke, they didn't see going down there as a way to get to me, so they started digging. So, yeah, we need to sort that all out for sure. Okay, how's the garden looking? We're still growing, and we've got plenty of seeds for the next round. Just stash the water and stuff there. All right, to the wasteland. Yep, we're heading to the wasteland with 18 shotgun bullets. What could possibly go wrong? All right, we're coming up on the spot on the map that I was pointing out, and yep, this is just like a little crossroads. It's the new thing in Alpha 21 where there's like rest stops, and it's not even really a town. It's just like a little mini area. Nothing special here. But I will poke my head around a little bit and see if I can find anything worth looting. Woo. Oh, jeez. That's dangerous. You want me to jump down there? No. No, I'm not going to jump down there. I might try to go in from the side. Is that a possibility? Ah, okay. Yeah, who's waiting for me down here is the question. Oh, Crawler is. That's not too big of a deal. Yeah, let's loot up a little bit while we're here. Might pull something good out. Might get the pickaxe that we're looking for after all. A bunch of crawlers down here. Because they're, they're all, like, waterlogged, right? Okay, and we can do the police car thing while we're here, too. I did wrench down one car already because they need, needed a little bit of gas. Okay, what's the threat here? Just coal there. Extra wheel. So far, nothing special here. Okay. Oh, a cop. Did I just seriously not see you sitting there that whole time? Okay, what's a, what's a good play here? We could... Parkour onto this, that's a kind of a safe point, and we could try to take out the cop and whatnot, whatever spawns. Try to use the bombs to our advantage a little bit. I'm game for that. I do have some blackstrap coffee. Um, probably not the best use of it. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Worst case scenario, we get on the mini bike and we get the hell out of here. Okay, okay, here we go. One more hit. Two more hits, technically, because I gotta turn the alarm off. I don't have to, but I'm not gonna listen to it. I don't know about you. Here we go. Okay, what do we got? We got, uh, we did get a rad. Okay, can, you guys can't get up here, can you? Uh, doesn't look that way. The spider probably could. Oh, ah, okay. And a couple of these for you guys and then run. That's, woo, quite helpful in fact. Now we got a bird on us though. Bird is threat number one. Holy crap, Mo. Thank you very much for blocking that for me. Another bird here. Okay. Just, uh, we got our point into running gun, right? So we should be doing a little bit better on that department. We got T-Peel here. The return of T-Peel, last known as a salamander in the Small Land series. And we're pulling in some surrounding zombies. Just, um, stew the bear. Yes, steer clear of all that. Looks like the cop's kind of halfway killing himself here. Whoop. Whoop. Ow. Ooh, that was terrible. Okay, yep. Let's get out of here. Oh, the, uh, the rat is dead. Holy crap, man. Okay, now that the mutated guy's on to me. We can do this, actually, I think. 
Let's try the old air burst trick. Give him a little taste of his own medicine. Take that. There we go. Blew his arms and legs off. Can you, what are you gonna do now? Oh, you're just gonna blow yourself up. Okay, that's taken care of. Okay, so now the problem is the bear. Oh, the cop car blew up, didn't it? He blew the cop car up. Okay, so that was all for naught. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Interestingly, there's a little chunk of desert out there. Which is kind of weird. Oh, jeez. Ow! Oh, and an airdrop. Where's that gonna be? In the wasteland, right on the way home, kinda. Ah! Wait a minute, where... Where even am I right now? Oh yes, that's definitely on the way home. The airdrop might have something better in it. I mean, my loot stage right now has got to be pretty high. Oh, there's a town up there. Nice. Yeah, loot stage, oh, 133. That's really nice. And this is actually going back into the desert, but I do think that that is a wasteland town up there. Got a trio of cars to search here. Nothing, nothing, and pretty much nothing, except a dog chasing me. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, weird, a little, desert oasis kind of thing here in the wasteland. It's kind of like those uh, shots that you see when there's a wildfire, but someone like left their sprinklers on before they evacuated and um, everything around their house is burnt except for their one little house and their lawn. Oh goodness, this is a trader right here at the head of the town and it's Trader Bob, excellent. Man, it's the best news we've had all week. Trader Bob's the person that sells all the tool magazines and such. I'm also gonna search his compound, get that nice loot bonus while we're here. Oh, nice. Ooh, I just unlocked Bellows by reading a Forge Ahead magazine. Kinda forgot all about that stuff. This must be Bob's kinda like little living quarters over here. He lives in some connexes. Oh geez, someone's blowing stuff up outside. Not surprising, probably that cop trying to spit at me and stuff. But yeah, ooh, I just heard him blow up. <laughs> He managed to kill himself in the process. Nice. Okay, here's, oh, it's just a small little town. Okay, uh, can I see anything special here? Or, no, not really. There's a um, Butcher Pete's over there, or Butcher, what, is it Butcher Pete's? I can't even remember. It's been so long since I've been there. There's also a bear den down there, I think. Okay, my inventory is quite full of random junk. So I'm gonna do a quick sell off to Bob and see if there's anything good we can buy from him. Whoa, he has some seriously good stuff here. Impact driver, which is, ooh, yes, far better than the wrench that I have. SMG turrets. He's got an iron breaker mod. He's got an anvil too. Can I actually make anvils? I can do the bellows now, but no, I cannot. That'll be workstations 25, so I'll be buying that. Uh, do you have a sugar butt here? Oh, Bobby, you're too good to me. Okay, sugar butts and eat that. Okay, just sold off an assortment of items. Lantern, you know what, I'll take that because they're so expensive to make. It's like five oil to make one. And do we want the impact driver? Considering that there's probably some other, yeah, vehicle adventures, there's other things I want to buy. Um, at, at the at the 7,000 threshold, it would pay for me to get a Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. Yep, let's take that as well. 7,000 Dukes is the threshold for paying for an Awesome Sauce. See, I already got like a 1,500 Duke uh, bonus discount on the impact driver. So that paid for itself right there. Take the anvil, the iron breaker mod. Okay, vehicle adventures, tools digest. I'll even take the shotgun weekly. The supercharger mod schematic. That will increase vehicle speed. That's probably the only vehicle mod that's really worth it. Mushrooms, eggs, player vending machine, right? We gotta go check on that. If I can remember to do that today. <gasps> oh my goodness, we're getting into like the really good weapons down here. Uh, I'll take your mix okay we're starting to run out of money now and we don't have the enough dukes in our pocket to benefit from the fall height but um overall this has been a very fruitful trader run pump shotgun that we can definitely craft one of those on our own though so i think that will just about do it for you bobby thank, thank you, you so much Check man also i watched daily. a video recently that said that there's a way to loot his cash register and I'm gonna see if I can figure it out. Cause like, you can't see it. it there's some sort of an invisible barrier here where you're not supposed to be able to loot his stuff. Oh, I saw it, hang on. Yes, right there. If you just kinda, it's like you stand here in the corner and you'll look toward it and you can find just a sliver where you can reach in there and t Or Dukes, Bobby, I didn't realize you were hurting so bad. 
Business is poor in the wasteland. 824 dukes. I have five seconds until my awesome sauce runs out, and I can get 1,500 dukes Great from that. With you. you as well. You. All right, I'm going to finish looting his compound here, and then we're going to hit the road, see if we can find some, some sort of like a garage or something. Still looking for more tool magazines. Goodness, was this a wandering horde or what? Wow. Well, that's one way to do it. Check that Mo Power truck while we're right here. This is, oh no, this is a, um, I saw the skulls there and I'm like, what's this, a tier two, what? No, it's a remnant. We're just getting the, uh, the tier skulls for the wasteland biome. Vehicles, tech junkie, and wiring. Were there any, like, boxes in here? Nothing special in here. This place received a little bit of a facelift though. I do like it. And if memory serves, there's like a duffel bag on that cell tower. Not particularly interested in that though. Yo, Armstrong Auto. How about this place? Maggie's Corner Cafe. I like the sound of this place. Tier two, so we can probably blow through here before nightfall. Been here before, so I know the rough layout. Don't need to loot everything, I'm already on. Oh, jeez, ow! Yeah, I'm already ridiculously full on the inventory. That helps. Okay, yes, we're just blowing through here for like uh, things that could have magazines and the main loot, right? Oh my goodness, who's that? Legion's lost as a radiated soldier. Oh man, my game stage is gonna be ridiculous for this place. Okay. Wow. That guy's strong. Um, also, down to two bandages. Birds are swooping down. Ow. Okay, we got a feral over here. Steve. Ah. Oh no. Bleeding. Okay. On second thought, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I kind of want to go home now. Right, that's not good. Uh, I don't even have a regular bandage. Can I get some cloth off of some things? Usually cloth in cars. Just enough to make myself a regular bandage. Or ten. I guess I had some cloth already. That's fine. No, 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 no. We're good. Okay, very low threshold to just run my ass out of here now. Make sure that we have a good egress route at all times. Okay, if I get some good food, that'd be nice too, because food works as first aid a little bit. Okay, am I to assume that uh, we're kind of all clear here now? Um, uh, not up here, apparently. Where are you? I need to know if you're a rat or not. It's Killer Joe over there. He's just a regular. And, uh, regular over here. And a bird. Oop, you. There we go. Aha, there's the loot down there. Probably gonna be a hell of a fight down here. I mean, there was in Alpha 20, so... I'm sure this is even worse here now. Okay, one option is that I can probably hit the buttons here and, um, you know, open doors so I can run away. There's a button over there, there's a button over here, but it does look like once I, uh, no, okay, I can get back up here if I have to, if I feel unsafe. Okay, let's run it. Run, 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 run. And yes, wide open spaces. Oh, okay, what's going on out here? Dogs! And, okay, just a couple of regular zombies, and not too bad. This is actually Max Corner. So far, so good. There's a rad right there. Okay, I'm not too worried about this guy, Papa Z. A couple of good head whacks should give me the knockdown. There we go, two skill points to spend. And just, oh, tough guy here. Take you down, search that loot bag, not too bad, reload. Go. Couple more, perhaps. Just check this. Whoop! I can see him on the right! Whoa! Just gonna go from car to car. I've got six bullets left. Dagnar over here. Just, yep, knock you down, take you out, and are you dead? Dead. I would imagine that was it for this place. Let's just be quick about it, though. Forge ahead and some mix there. Okay, are we good here now? I don't hear any zombie gurgles or breathing or anything, so I do think. Oh, I hear a snake. That's fine. Not worried about snakes. Okay, got a couple of vehicle adventures books and a couple of forge ahead books out of this place. Overall, pretty good. Tactical warfare there. Shotgun parts. Southern farming. We're almost maxed out on farming. It's kind of cool. 50% chance for an engine out of that. No cigar, though. 
Speaking of cigar, I need to get myself a cigar. There's an engine. I'm starting to overflow on loot a little bit. Oh, a nice stun baton there. Okay, and with that, I would say we're just about done here. Ooh, we got the Bobcat. That's a new one. Looks like it would be a good little horde base there. Buzz's Bar, that's a great horde base. I've lived there before. O'Malley Oats. Yep, Butcher Pete's. Oh, wow. Okay, that's all new. Did, was this the old, like, motel POI and they've kind of renovated it? Ooh, I will check those, uh, these newspaper stands over here. Ooh, bird. Leave me alone. Ah, man, come on. Okay, oh, yes, it's called, uh, Elsner's Emporium. More damage to bears. Nice. Armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. That's the best book of the series. I can wear heavy armor now. Yes! Okay, we gotta look into that tonight and see if we can craft any armor. Ooh, look at the liquor store here. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, someday. Someday when I have better weapons, we can come and actually do some uh, more POIs here. Every day that passes, though, is a day that the wasteland is, like, even more dangerous, and we're already seeing rads left and right. Okay, take care of you, because I want to search this working sift tool truck. Just pushing my luck as much as I possibly can. <laughs> Get hammered. Got a poppin' pills little mini pharmacy. There's the bear den. Okay, okay, there's a steel shovel right there. Not too bad. Snag that up. I don't I don't think that the steel shovel is gonna be better than my quality six iron shovel. And like I said before, as soon as I get a grave digger mod, it's not gonna matter. As long as I can one-shot the blocks, I don't need a steel shovel. It's just gonna use more stamina. And um, okay, here's a Oh, I know where the loot is. It's right in that tower, isn't it? Uh, 2120. Do I want to chance it here a little bit? It's just a tier one. Okay, what do you think the chances are that my parkour skills will pay off here? Come on, up we go. And, oh, oh, there's the loot right there, right next to this biker. Savage Country Box, sharp sticks, no. Oh, there's also Mo here. As long as he's not a rad, I think we're good. That ah, woke him up. Okay, range guard archery, flaming arrows and crossbow bolts, some uh, steel sledgehammer parts, and uh, that's fine for this place. I was hoping for a, um, you know, a passing gas box. Maybe I'll just do a quick run through. There's a rad. Okay. Yeah, off we go. <laughs> Enough of that. What is this place? Is this the little police station thing? Yes, NPD 3rd Division. Okay, one more car here. Tools digest. Ooh, I want that. Uh, just scrap that. Okay, leaving. Oh, wait. <laughs> Not leaving yet. There's a working stiff tool truck here. Which, it's gonna be nightfall, so... Okay, let's just jump on the rooftop of this and search it before they blow it up. Hopefully this works. Uh, yep. Tools digest. Read that, and we're off. We gotta go get that airdrop, and then we're heading home. Okay, here we are rolling up on the airdrop. I've got birds behind me, though, and I'm gonna have to sort out the inventory a little bit before we do this. Okay, so bail out here. Oh, there's also a feral white back there kind of chasing after me a little bit. And try to time this, take you guys out. Good. What can I do here to loosen things up? Okay, that should do it. I've got five free inventory slots. Let's run in here and grab this. I'm hoping for steel, because we're gonna need steel to craft tools. Ah, no luck there. Shotgun Messiah book, though. Targets with full health take 20% more damage. Melee mods bundle number three and crafting skill magazine bundle. We'll open those up when we get home. And speaking of home, I'll meet you there. All right, we've made it back to the base. I'm just getting organized a little bit here. Got things kind of rearranged. Got the forge into its final configuration over here. There will be another forge here, and there will be another workbench here, and then a chemistry station here flanked by cement mixers, and that'll be just about it. Over here, I'll put some gun safes for weapon and ammo storage, and otherwise, I don't know what we'll do for block decorations. I definitely want a higher ceiling. And I would like some exposed desert stone, but that's going to be a little bit complicated because of all this stupid sand that's down here. Let's have a look at the crafting skill magazine bundle, see if we got anything into tools. No, we did get uh, forge ahead and shotguns and armor, which is actually not bad. Pump shotgun quality too now. Did I get enough tools today, tool magazines, to get a better steel pickaxe? No. We'll have to try to focus on that a little bit in the next, uh, tomorrow at least, and... Um, also got to focus on replenishing the steel supply, because I think we're pretty much out. Down to five. In terms of that melee mods bundle, okay, not terribly bad. Iron breaker and ergonomic grip. <laughs> what a coincidence. I just bought an iron breaker mod too. Whatever, That I've just come to accept that that's how the game works. So for tonight, I think uh, there's not much to do before we pick things up a little bit later on tomorrow morning. I'll probably just work on a little bit of crafting and see what it's going to take to get some good steel or maybe even just iron armor. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. 
Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.